you've ever owned an old, an old boat, you have probably noticed over time that there are certain areas on the deck when you're walking around that creak for no reason, that seem a little spongy or soft. This is called a spongy deck. And the reason this occurs is because the plywood laminate underneath the skin of the deck, over time, moisture builds up, attacks it, it degrades, it rots, it turns into a black powdery sawdust rather than having the same structural uh, integrity that it had when it, it was first uh, constructed. This is a model of a top of a deck with the, the, the skin, the fiberglass skin, the fiber, the uh, plywood uh, underlayment, and then the uh, headliner underneath that. When your boat was originally constructed, this is what the plywood looked like. You can see the plies, you can see that it's uh, very strong, that it would support the weight of your crew on the uh, deck. Fifteen, twenty years later, this is what that same wood will look like. Now this, this wood has been attacked by termites. If this had been um, destroyed by moisture or rot, then you would see black flaky powder, powder all through this area here. Um, this again is the uh, gap between it and this is the headliner above your head if you're inside the boat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to repair this by injecting it with epoxy, with the Air Marine 321. It's perfect for that because of its low viscosity. We're going to fill this gap here with Air Marine um, 8 pound density pour in place structural foam. The reason for that is that we want to ensure that we do not overshoot this area when we're injecting it with epoxy and fill up this area with epoxy. What will happen is this epoxy will run down the sides of the boat, run down the sides of the headliner, and run down the sides of your boat. Not only will it waste the epoxy, it'll make a mess inside of it. The first step in the process is going to be to install the foam as a backing in the void so that when we work with the epoxy, again, we're working with a solid backing. The foam that we're going to be using is the 8-pound density Aeromarine pour-in-place foam. This is a very dense structural foam, and what it will do is tie these pieces in as a single unit. What we're going to do is cover the entire work area with mold release wax, and then we're going to mask it off with uh, building paper. Uh, we've finished masking off the work area and uh, we're now going to drill the uh, first two holes to uh, uh, install the foam. Okay, we have two openings cut in that allow us to um, um, install our foam into the uh, void between the uh, decking and the headliner. Okay, this is our Air Marine 8 pound pour foam. Correctly mixed. I'm now about to pour it into the void. Okay, we've installed the foam. You can see it here. You can see that it's filled the entire cavity, that it is bonded both to the headliner underneath and to the wood that we're going to repair next. Our next step will be to mix our epoxy and entirely fill in all of these areas with solid epoxy. Okay, currently we are drilling holes into um, uh, the wood that we want to repair through the fiberglass decking. We have a uh, set of uh, marks in a grid lined out on the building paper on top of the unit. We're going to continue drilling um, until we've uh, established a full network of access holes. We used a collet on the end of the drill to make sure that we drilled to a uniform depth on every one of them. We have mixed our uh, Aero Marine 321 epoxy. We have installed it in our syringe with plastic tip and we are now going to start injecting the epoxy into the wood. The nice thing about the fact that we now have a foam backing underneath the rotten wood is that uh, we can 
inject epoxy until it saturates without having to worry about it going to waste in the gap above the headliner. You can see there it's coming out of that hole. That's fine. You want to completely saturate the area. You can see now the voids in the wood completely saturated with resin all the way across the damaged area. This is going to cure in several hours. You're going to have an extremely strong deck again. There you go. That's how you repair a spongy buck deck. You can see that you have very minimal repair work left. It's all cosmetic from this point forward. You can uh, purchase the, uh, the deck repair kit, which includes the 8-pound foam and the uh, Aeromarine 321 epoxy off of our website at aeromarineproducts.com.